Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I am going to teach you how you can click on any card view and go to any other activity in Android Studio. Now if you don't know how to create a card view and other stuff related to it, you can just go back to the previous video, it's on the top right of the screen right now and come back. Now if you know about it already, then go ahead with this video and without any further ado, my name is Samian Savant, let's get started. Alright, so we'll go step by step. First of all, what we'll do is we'll just clear up all these extra cards that we have. I'll just go with four cards. Alright, so where's this fourth one? Okay. Just take out all of these. Alright, backspace. Done. Now we just have four cards. Now I'll just show you how you can go to next activity from all of these four cards. Second thing. Now what we'll do is, we'll need 4 activities for 4 different cards, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'll just create 4 empty activities. I'll just fast, fast forward this, so that we don't waste any time. Alright, now once all the four activities are created, I'll just go to the XML file of every activity and just name them 1, 2, 3, 4 so that we'll know that which activity is open. I'll just take inside a text view. Alright, now so we are done with all the four activities. I'll I have named all of them. I'll just close all of these files for now. Alright, the Java as well as XML files. Okay, done. So we have created four activities. Now what we'll do is the third step is going to the main where the card layout is and we'll give an ID to every card layout from which we want to go to the next activity. So, first card layout, see this card view, alright, Android ID, which will be C1, let's keep an easy ID, alright, I'll just copy this thing, I'll go on pasting it in every card, and just rename it to C2, C3, C4, C5, whatever, alright, C2, C3 C4 Then with the IDs Okay Easy IDs Alright C1, C2, C3, C4 Easy to remember Alright Now the basic things have been done We have created 4 activities We have given an ID to every card view Now the main part comes is Going to the Java file and Writing some code Alright Now the first thing that we will have to do is here, we will have to create 4 different objects for 4 different card views. Alright, so what we will do is, public card view space, now it will be either public or private, whichever you want. Alright, now once you write card view, what we will do is, we will just take 5 objects, no need to write uh, on every other line, we will just use commas, alright. So, card view, right card 1, comma card 2, card 3, and card 4, semicolon. Done. Alright, so I'll take this for now public. Okay. Done with that thing, 4 objects have been created for 4 card views. Now, what we'll do is, we'll go up here and we'll write implements on click listener which will be view dot on click listener all right so this option then now it will show an error what we'll do is we'll either press on this or you can click alt click and just implement methods 
all right this method first method we want all right just hit ok then the method is created now four objects have been created we have implemented the on click list now the main part comes in now first thing we'll do inside the on create method now on create method means that when the activity is created or when the app opens or this activity opens then the code inside this section will run all right now first we'll what we'll do is we'll find the particular card views and assign it to those objects so let's say card one equal to casting card view then find view by id r dot id dot now there are four cards right c1 c2 c3 c4 four ids okay just hit c1 semicolon then now these this line i'll just copy it four times control d this is the shortcut which many people don't know so remember that one now i'll just rename this to card 2 c2 card 3 c3 card 4 and c4 then we found all of them so this was the defining thing now what we'll do is we'll assign the on click listener to every object so card one dot set on click listener shit sorry all right this one and then what you'll write inside this is this okay same thing control d four times card two card three and card four so we have found the particular card view assigned it to that object and then we have set an all click on click listener for every card then with this thing now what we'll do is we'll have to use a switch case switch case and intent now intent will use to go from this activity to another activity all right so first we'll write intent here space let's take i which is one of the basic variables then now once you've specified i what we'll do is we'll open the switch case sorry switch and inside what we'll do is see this view v so we'll write v dot get id then so what this will do is whenever you click on that particular view it will get this id of the view all right so now if we click on card one c1 so that will do it once this is done open the braces all right now inside the switch case what we'll do is first of all we'll write case okay step by step first of all we'll write case once case is written we we'll write r dot id dot c1 just get the id of the particular card colon all right we'll go down here we'll write i equals to new space intent and inside we'll write first which will be this activity so this comma now the c1 is the card one right so once we press on card one We'll have to go to card uh, activity one right so what we'll write is one dot class and then semicolon then now we have uh, defined the intent now what we'll do is we'll have to start the activity right so just start activity which will be i and then break get the logic same thing we'll do for the next thing all right once we have broken this let's go back here now we'll write case space r dot id dot card 2 we want now right so we'll write c2 colon we'll go down here i equals to new intent this comma from card 2 to uh, activity 2 right so what we'll write is 2 dot class then semicolon start the activity i and then just break now we'll have to do this for every single card so i'll just copy this thing control c 
control V control V and then we'll just change it here C3 and we want to go to class 3 right so this is case specific case sensitive so just know that uh, I named class 2 with a small t and all other classes with capital letters so just know that it is case sensitive and you you have to mention it every time like if it is capital type capital and if it's small type small okay now fourth is c4 and we want to go to class 4 done so this is basically the code all right now we have used switch case we implemented it correctly now i'll just run it on the mobile device to show you how it actually works all right all right so this is the application let's click on it okay see the four cards now i'll just click on one two three four in sequence first as you can see the activity has opened one now i'll click on second two third three and fourth four done so as we can see this code has been successfully executed every card view which we click on goes to the particular activity so this was all for the mobile presentation let's go back to the video so that's how you can go from any card view to particular activity you want now if you find any value in this video do like the video share it with your friends who don't know about this function and consider subscribing to the channel if you like android studio tutorial videos as i post one video every single week so hit that notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and thank you for watching the video if you want to learn about more stuff the android studio tutorial playlist which i have created the link is in the description and yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching the video bye bye